Hi guys, it's Melissa. Um, I would like to talk with y'all about the 500 Crochet Stitches, the Ultimate Crochet Stitch Bible. This book I bought off of Amazon and I got it so that I would have the different stitch counts for like the beginning chain and then the process of them so that I could create different blankets without having to use say a um, actual pattern. I could just pick a stitch and make a blanket. So um, with that, I would like to show you what all comes in the book, all the different you know benefits of the book. So um, the um, first part of it is like a beginner uh, lesson in how to hold it. And see, this is like a picture of you holding it like the, the, the hook like a pencil. And, and I don't hold mine like that, but you know, it does say that's how you're supposed to do it. So you hold it however you're comfortable. And then um, it shows how to start off a chain. And I use this in one of my episodes for the those. Shows the uh, treble slalom knot. It's got how you fasten. Um, shows like where placement of stitches should go depending on what they are. Increasing and decreasing. And then it goes into different stitches for like popcorns, baubles, uh, the filet crochet, the uh, group of shells and clusters. So it's got a lot of, um, teaches you a circle here, how to, and how to pattern your, um, threads. Um, it's got all of the abbreviations for working a pattern, um, listed. It's got all the stitch diagram. This is, you know, um, and for each of the stitches it shows a stitch it gives you the words and it gives you a picture so okay you've got just an endless amount of different stitch patterns and it always tells you okay so the theater box you start with a multiple of six stitches plus four four is going to be your turning chain and this one is listed out right here and so all of them do give you that, um, that beginning chain count, and then it gives you a description of how to do that kind of stitch. And there really are just pages and pages of um, different stitches. And I like it too, because you can also do kind of like the Annie's Block Blanket, um, Block of the Month kit. You can also pick these and then work them to the same sizes and do your own pattern of different um, stitches. And that's actually why I've got the pages smart. I've got a lot of pages marked. So then once you get through um, the stitches, they've got uh, motifs and they have got some beautiful motifs. And this is where you can find the granny stitch, uh, granny square. Um, there's a spring Zena. Um, there's leaves, flowers, um, just an endless amount of motifs that you could use um, to build a blanket. Um, you can attach these. Some of these patterns you can continue on with and make a blanket out of if you wanted. Um, you just keep doing the same pattern over and over again instead of stopping in a motif, um, which is like the granny square, which is in here somewhere. Um, there's a vintage square. Now I'm going to make a, a baby blanket out of this vintage square using this Mandela yarn, um, which I think is a real pretty blue. It's like a blue jean blue and it's real soft. So I'm going to make a baby blanket using that and I'll show you all that later on in another video. And then here's the granny square. And then I really like the shells and popcorn there. Um, they've got just all kinds of really great. Um, this wagon wheel, I started it, and you can just keep going with it and get it bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's a pretty flower one, the Maui wheel. Okay, and then after the motifs, you have the um, edging and trim. So any blanket that you do and you wanna do a trim on it, there is a lot of different styles of trim that you can do. And it tells you, you have to have a multiple of nine stitches, one motif for each repeat. Okay, so nine stitches, you'll have this motif. And so 
if you have a blanket and you can manage to get it to the nine and multiples, um, then you'll be able to do this, this right here on there. And so you can alter it to fit whatever blanket um, or size that you have. And there's just some really pretty ones. Um, teaches you the fringe. The scroll ruffle. There's just some really pretty ones. So um, then you've got in the back, you've got a... Um, Well, let me flip over there. Look at this flower one here. That's that's quite pretty. Okay, so you have an index. And so let's say you're like, you know what? I wanna make a blanket out of a granny square or I wanna make a blanket out of a certain stitch. You can always just come back here, find it and go right to it. And so I think it's a great book. It's it's $20, it's like nineteen fifty eight or something like that plus, um, shipping uh, unless you're prime on Amazon. But as far as this book and recommending it, I absolutely recommend having it um, for all the um, different types of stitches. If you're a beginner, um, some of these uh, motifs can be a little bit difficult, but a lot of them are, are really simple and would be a good way to learn um, how to create different shapes and stuff like that. So if you want to purchase a book that gives you lots of information on building your own patterns, I would definitely suggest grabbing this book up. And so I would say double thumbs up on it. Um, I do love it. I've had it for several years and I do use it quite often. Um, if you would like to um, purchase it through Amazon, I do have a link in my um, description. And then also, um, if you would just hit subscribe, I'll be doing a lot more reviews of different products and also posting different um, stitches that are in here um, to um, some videos of the different stitches. Anyhow, if you'd just subscribe, I appreciate it. And then like and comment. If you have any advice for me, I appreciate it. And if you have any questions or if you're stuck on something and need help, by all means, I would love to help you. Um, so just, you know, subscribe, like, and comment, and y'all have a good night. Thanks.